first time that I came to Blantyre, Malawi was in 2006. And I visited the neonatal unit at Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital. And that was a visit that really, for me, it changed my life. Because when I walked in that neonatal unit and I saw that there were 60 babies being cared for there with very, very minimal equipment, but being cared for by nurses and by pediatricians who were trying to do everything they could with the limited resources they had. I walked out of the NICU thinking, I want to find out some way that I can help and that our community at Rice University can help improve this situation. To see a baby die when you know there's something which could have been done and you have nothing else to offer and you know the facility has nothing else to, to offer and you don't know what to tell to the mother. It is very, very sad. The two most important things in my life are my children and the work that I do at Rice University. And as a mom, it is incredibly difficult to walk into the neonatal unit here and to see babies who are literally struggling for life, to see how difficult it is for them to take every breath. And his mom is sitting right there. I don't want to live in a world where that's okay. And for me, that's what this program is about. Global health inequities are hard problems. If you want to address hard problems, you need smart students, you need smart faculty, and you need a work ethic that is endless. And on top of that, you need an ability to understand how a whole series of diverse perspectives, the parent's perspective, the nurse's perspective, the doctor's perspective, the administrator's perspective, the health minister's perspective, how all of those things shape outcomes. I'm really excited and proud of what we've been able to accomplish. That we've been able to actually take technologies from the classroom at Rice and move them into the clinic. Zip up, it helps the baby to breathe. It's just amazing to think that this started as a project that a bunch of 20 and 21 year olds were working on and is now saving babies in Malawi. Part of what we're doing this week is looking at the kind of things that are happening with our CPAP program and rolling out CPAP to all of the government, central and district hospitals in Malawi. I would say this is one of the greatest success stories. When CPAP was being introduced in Malawi, we thought it's just something, maybe just a hearsay, that uh, what, what is this? But then as I've been visiting the hospitals, the story has become a great thing. To date, we can count for about 2,000 babies um, treated with the bubble CPAP device. And we project that, you know, many more lives will be touched because the, the project is expanding and we're expanding to other areas of Malawi. And so we hope that touch more lives, not just with CPAP, but with the other technologies that RICE hopes to bring to Malawi. We're in the Chitinkwa nursery this morning and we're talking to the attending pediatrician there. And there are these two babies that are there and the doctor is holding this baby and talking about the fact that the baby came into the nursery, very clearly needed CPAP, they were able to put this baby on CPAP because of the machines, these low-cost technology machines that the Rice team had been able to put into place in the nursery. And this little tiny thousand gram baby had just gotten off CPAP and the doctor puts this baby in my arms and I'm looking at this little tiny thousand gram baby and I realize this child is going to live 
because of what Rice is doing here. And that is an amazing thing.